What's going on guys? This is the first video of 2019 and we're gonna kick things off with the biggest project I've ever done. Because I have a little bit of time right now in between semesters, I did a poll asking you guys what you wanted me to make. If you wanted to see one bigger project or a bunch of little projects and you guys chose the one big project. I personally feel this way as well. I don't wanna keep doing like small little builds forever. I wanna see what I can really do. So that project, ladies and gentlemen, is a human flying drone. <laughs> Now, yes, this stuff has been done before. A lot of fantastic you, you, a lot of fantastic YouTubers, the real life guys. I think Peter Stripple did one. Definitely taking inspiration, but no one's ever done it like me. A lot of videos just explain what they did, but I'm gonna take you through the whole process as I do it, so you can see what actually goes into making something like this from someone who has no idea what the f they're doing. But I'm gonna take you through it, and hopefully, do it in an entertaining way, so you don't have to listen to me just drone on for well, exactly what I'm doing right now. Sh off to a horrible start. All right, guys, let's do it. So in theory, everything I need is in this box. So I think I have all the parts to make something fly. We just throw it in a bowl and mix it around and a helicopter should pop out. Plan is to start off with a quadcopter and then if we get that working right, we can scale it up to an octocopter. So we have four 27 inch propeller blades. Also, I should mention, I will be taking a lot of safety precautions contrary to my previous actions. I'm gonna do this as safe as I can. I'm gonna remotely control it until I get it working. But then only after a bunch of testing will I get anywhere near it. We also have the DJI flight controller and this pretty much is the brains of the whole operation, which means I don't actually have to know how to fly this. I just have to press a button. So what we have to do is build the frame, mount everything on it and see if it works. So let's get to it. Switch camera. Actually 3D model the basic design of uh, what this is gonna look like. So we're gonna start off with a quadcopter design kind of like this with uh, the batteries on either end in green. Then if this goes to plan, we'll add some rotors in a coaxial formation below it so we have an octocopter. And if my calculations are correct, that will be enough to lift a human. All right, get ready for the sexiest montage you've ever seen. Got a bunch of aluminum right here. Screwed up my leather right there. I am pissed about that. But honestly, if this goes well, I'm not gonna need this car anymore. I'm just gonna fly over. Ho, 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 we got gifts. We got gifts. So let's start building it. So we made a thing. This is going to hold two of the motors, one right here and one. The other motor goes right here. I'm going to build another one of these for the remaining two motors. And then if we want to add four more motors, add them to the other side. But uh, let's do a quick strength test to see uh, if this can actually support my weight. And uh, if this can support technically half my weight or a little bit more, I guess, because there's going to be batteries in the motor and stuff, then we should be good. Pop on here real quick. A hasn't broken yet. Now we need to go ahead and make another one of these for the backside. But sometimes there's one cool trick you can do. It's kind of like two ply paper. You can, if you like, if you peel it apart, sometimes you can get ah, another one. Exactly like it. Oh, he's a magician now. Somebody stop him. So now we need to connect these two things. And I actually haven't done that part yet. So uh, let's get to it. And just like that, we've got a metal box, kind of. This is going to be the frame of our quadcopter. Although I'm just realizing now that I built this whole frame with uh, this pole in the middle. So that means, uh, uh, so we're gonna have to take it apart. Good planning, Jake, going well so far. Mm -hmm. 
frame is looking nice at the moment. Pretty much all we have to do left is mount some supporting pieces and the actual motors themselves on each of the ends. Right now though, I'm gonna wire up and test out the receiver module. This tiny little thing right here takes signals from this remote control right here. So this has a bunch of different pins that correspond to different channels that you can control with the remote. So for an instance, up and down is one channel, side to side, another channel. Um, these buttons are other channels. And yeah, it transmits all of that information to this receiver and the receiver outputs it through these pins, which we can connect straight up to the ESC or uh, when we actually try and fly this thing, the flight controller will take all of this input data and hopefully make this thing fly. So this remote controller is a must because this is a 100cc motor with a uh, propeller blade attached to it and we have four of them. So chances are the first time we turn it on, it's gonna be like some Tasmanian devil type ish. So yeah, gonna be as far away from that as possible. Going to put one motor right there. Another motor over here. One more motor over in that corner. The last motor goes in this corner right there. little test hopefully nothing will explode you know what that's that's just a good rule of life a little bit of spark oh that's a spark right there I'm gonna stand back here so it's not working so before we worry about anything with the remote I'm gonna use a servo tester that I know works just to see if we can get the motor spinning ah, it's a very loud noise Okay, I think we're getting somewhere now. All right, I think I got it figured out. Let's connect this to channel three, it turns out. Ah! Let's go. Channel three right here. Move this joystick. We got a giant, giant remote control helicopter. First motor mounted on. Got the ESC strapped on there. Using the highest quality method, electrical tape. Yeah. Now let's mount the other motors, the propellers. Do a little bit of wiring and see if we can get these motors to run. So just did a little more addition to this frame. Pretty much we made a duplicate of the top layer about a foot and a third down. So now it's uh, much more stable. And uh, the plan eventually is for me to sit right about here like this, propellers on each side. Still haven't bolted on all the motors yet because I don't quite have all the parts yet. Plus one of them is still in that device over there, which uh, I'm gonna do another short little project with that probably next video. Um, but for now, let's just uh, throw a propeller on one of these things just so we can see kind of how this thing will work. Blade is ready. So uh, I'm going to switch the blade and see uh, how much thrust we can get going down. On. Okay, now it's really blowing down. So as it turns out, I think I'm gonna have to get some new props because all of these props have the pitch the same direction. And for a drone, I need half of the propellers to be in the opposite direction. That way it cancels out the torque and, uh, and the helicopter just doesn't go off and do us tailspin. If you have any ideas about giant quadcopter propellers, leave them down in the description. But that pretty much wraps up part one. Um, got a decent amount done so far. If you wanna see more of this project, follow me on Instagram. Posting stuff as I do it over there, at Video. Um, get a shirt if you want to help support this and also subscribe, you know classic youtuber stuff really excited about this project though So uh, definitely look out for part two. So that's been it for this one guys. Take it easy And we will catch you in the next video. Peace